ಶಿವಸಂಭಾ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ಕೃತೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಸಹನಾ ಸಹನೌನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 someone wants to chant after me okay i will do it from 17 to 21 i'll just quickly do one round uh practice by yourself also along with it avinashi tu tad vidhi yena sarva medanta tam vinasham avyayasyasya na kaschit kartum arhati antavanta ime deha ha nityasyokta sharirina ha ಅನಾಶಿನೋ ಪ್ರಮೇಯ ತಸ್ಮ್ಯುಧ್ಯಸ್ವಾರತ ಯೇತಿ ಹಂತಾರ ಯೈನ ಮನ್ಯತೆ ಹತ ಉಭೌ ತೌ ನೀತ ಹಂತಿ ನ ಹನ್ಯತೆ ನ ಜಾಯತೆ ಮ್ರಿಯತೆ ವಾಕಿನ್ ನಾಂ ಭೂತ್ ಭವಿತ ಭೂಯ ಅಜೋ ನಿತ್ಯ ಶಾಶ್ವತೋಯಂ ಪುರಾಣ ನ ಹನ್ಯತೆ ಹನ್ಯಮಾನೆ ಶರೀರ it is kadachit so na jayate mriyate va kadachit nayam bhutva bhavita va na bhuya ajo nitya shashvato yam purana na hanyate hanyamane sharire ವಿನಾಶಿನ್ಯಮಜಮ್ಯ ಕಥಂ ಸ ಪುರುಷ ಪಾರ್ಥ ಕಂಘಾತಯತಿ ಹಂತಿ ಕಂ ಸೊ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ವನ್ ಟು ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟು ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಆರ್ seeing some important verses mm. Arjuna is okay, let me rephrase it i'm restarting what does one really feel i'm asking what does one really feel
is the crux of one's daily mood. I'm repeating the question. What does one think is the crux, mean is the basic outline, background, generalizing, averagely, a mood of people generally in a day? Is the question clear first before? Har insano ka din mein average generalizing man ka bhav average ek din mein kya hota hai average <coughs> Anybody? What is the average mood of an individual in a day? Averagely. It varies. It varies. So therefore an average, if you have to take, what is predominant? Depends on how the day is going. Always thinking, always some thought coming in. There is never a storm. Matlab, something will be bothering, something will be going on, like a projector. No, the things, film keeps going on and on and on. <laughs> right. Not ending once, like you know. Right. Correct. So, if you take an average of say a month, even if you say, uh, uh, excellent. Um, for those of you who want to take active participation, I think I said I have sent the link on the Facebook. It seems some people are comfortable on Facebook, even if you're registered, and some people are comfortable on um, web class. So please feel free if you want to join. The link is there. But it is totally your choice. Absolutely. It's just that I'm opening it in case somebody feels tied down, you want to express and cannot, so you may please feel free to join or feel whichever way. So what is that mood which you have averagely? Din mein kya beetta hai? Ek din, per one week if you take an average, then one month if you take an average, then one year if you take an average, you observe your own self or you observe people around. Average bhaav jo chalta hai is actually of correct. A restlessness, a wantingness, an overall somber means thick hai kind of a something is chal. a miss. Something, Something is missing. Something is a miss. Some incompleteness. Some. Something. That's as you also said. Kuch kuch chalta rehta hai. It doesn't stop. Kuch kuch chalta rehta hai ko if you examine. Kya chalta rehta hai. What is the nature of those thoughts? What is it that you feel during the day? During a month? Average bhav agar aap dekhoge, to it Danger. borders, sorry, it borders on towards unhappiness, towards sadness, towards wantingness, towards seeking fulfillment, seeking happiness, seeking seekingness and that seems to be even when you know consciously that things are all fine in your life at that stage of life even then agar aap apna observe karoge to bhav man mein is you know if there is an average to be felt 
नॉर्मल इट इज ऑलवेज अ लिटिल लेस खाली जैसा ही मन होगा वो मन नीचे की तरफ आता है अपने ही अंदर नीचे आता है हाँ इट्स एन एवरेज आई एम नॉट जनरलाइज आई मीन आई एम नॉट सेंग इट स्पेसिफिक एवरी टाइम बट वाई एम आई ब्रिंगिंग दिस पॉइंट इज Arjuna his condition of shok and moha however well we have now understood what we fail to connect is this is an average feeling in every jeev drishti jahan jeev ka bhav hai i am an individual wherever there is the notion that i am an individual what really is behind that what is that which is averagely experienced felt within is the bottom line is there is a feel of what arjuna's condition is shok arjuna's condition has been clearly put forward so that we are able to recognize the degrees even if it is much lesser in degree that this is an average feeling behind jeev bhav be acutely aware of this fact what is it jab sab theek bhi hai na to bhi sab theek lagta nahi hai everything going well till there feels a need for it to go a little better it could be a little better this is arjuna's shok grast sthiti jab ye hum samajhte hain apni sthiti why am i saying this again is because however much predominantly dukha correct absolutely however much we understand other people's unhappiness other people's struggles other people's state of un- of um, all those things we identify we recognize we try and help we do everything possible but that condition of being predominantly unhappy dukkh background we seem to be acclimatized to that condition to such an extent that it is not even getting registered most often what is the point point is repeating myself arjun ka jo shok ki avastha hai wo padhne ka tatparya ye hai कि उसको हम अपने जीवन में आइडेंटिफाई कर सके हाउ डू यू आइडेंटिफाई इट इट डज नीड टू बी सो एक्सट्रीम मोस्ट ऑफ अस आर नॉट इन अ कंडीशन वेर वी आर पुट ऑन अ रेजर्स एज वी आर नॉट ऑन अ स्पेयर्स हेड कंडीशन आर नॉट सो टेरेबल एज हिज कंडीशन इज हिज हिज केसेस this situation is but the shok that he expresses shok equivalent to a state of wanting happiness or chahiye thoda anand that sthiti automatically you begin to identify you ought to be ident we ought to be identifying it as an average sthiti of our mind but why are we not really registering it fully because there seems to be an acclimatization to the sthiti of mind mind state the state of the mind as being not in its independent happy सुख सुखी भाव 
mind doesn't understand that the happiness that it also understands seems to be only conditional happiness like one of you just said it depends on how the day went if it depends on how the day went that means my state of mind if the day has gone according to me obviously i'm happy else i'm unhappy this is quote unquote acclimatize not okay not quote unquote the acclimatization of one's own mind feeling on the lower side of its own capability of its own existential recognition of its own natural state in which it is need it's not dukhi it is automatically recognizing that this seems to be running through and through acclimatization of the senses to pleasures we may understand faster because if i am used to having a certain thing after some time it doesn't give me pleasure and if i don't have it it gives me pain but to our mind noticing that we are acclimatized to its state of unfulfilled bhav incomplete bhav uska ek andar hi restlessness taar ke jaise hilte rehna sara din shant ho ke quiet ho ke kuch na karke kuch bhi na karke especially for all of us whose survival is not directly today dependent on our action yes indirect yes but not like a daily wager if he doesn't earn for today then he doesn't know where his bread is coming from if we are not in that condition of existence survival <coughs> then just to be able to see that arjun ki jo sthiti of acclimatization hai acclimatization i'm repeating it because you realize however much knowledge is imparted about agyan gyan is the solution about samsara atma gyan is the solution and however much we go on understanding it better and better somehow the acclimatization of our own mind of its own state of feeling incomplete hasn't got resolved what do i mean by hasn't got resolved means i have not fully recognized the state of my own restlessness when things are fine jab sab acha hai to that proportion am i independently quiet relaxed comfortable with myself am i to that an extent happy unconditionally peaceful happy would get a wrong idea of sense pleasure peaceful tan arjun state is that what happens at the second step to arjun in order to quieten his disturbance in his case he doesn't know what he should be doing so he's come up with all these justifications what do we do am i making is it is this getting across or is the internet yes it which is fine oh, okay so what am i actually registering from arjuna's condition the fact that arjuna is giving justifications for his confusion his delusion when i am acclimatized to my own state of 
dependent existence happiness what is my justification what am i doing what am i doing what are we You're doing? justifying unhappiness like why Just, am i sad so must be some reason then figure out the reason and then solve it if you figure out that means you're not i mean if you register it means you're not acclimatized fully in a state of acclimatization acclimatized state of means main dukhi to hu lekin mujhe aadat matlab i am not struggling it out i'm not but still there is some vritti happening what are we doing my question may not be fully clear probably i'll repeat this first of all have we understood what is an acclimatized state of sorrow of dukh yes tipti ji matlab we think that ye hi aisa hi hai matlab Haan. aisa dukhi aaj dukhi hai to dukhi matlab isko accept karna padega kind of thing ha aur usko hum dukh dukh manna band hi kar dete hain at some time yeah because we see life to aise hi hai kya kar sakte hain ha so uh, exactly that's it and uh, this is it so hum kya kar sakte hain so we kind of we forget that this is not acceptable dukhi man is not acceptable hame kya lagta hai it is aisa hi hai struggles are a part of life for everybody so matlab i feel i am not fully uh, acclimatization to dukh is a perception because jab wo samajh mein aata hai na then the whole of this geeta gyan why krishna started with atma vidya bahut closely day to day life mein samajh mein aane lagega for most of us today atma vidya this portion seems to be about atma some day we will grow some day we will be wise or in our attempt we try and see what is un- we are doing all that but where is the gap really one of the reasons the gap could be is one of them there can be many reasons one of them can be our acclimatization to our own state of mind is there so what happens so we are not fully energetically at it to to address it because when we are not fully aware of what we are doing during the day that acclimatized state ko humne accept kar liya so then what do we do in the day what are people doing in the day something or the other in which diverting. they perceive sorry diverting your mind diverting your mind excellent one of the things could be diverting your mind keeping it occupied just 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 you know not Because looking at deep, that not deep. looking not looking and when you're not looking at the state of your feeling unhappy or incomplete or wanting or unfulfilled when you do not look at it for a period length of time every day you wake up and you just displace it thinking ye to aisa hi hai and you try and fill it up with something or the other during the day and it goes on that is what our justifications are in place of what arjuna is doing what is our justification yes we are working around that state and making whatever is the best out of it we are working we are not addressing that we are working around that means we are actually forgetting up we take it for aisa hi hai and then you have to live no so you have to do you have to be you have to meet people you have to all that has to be done vyavaharikally life has to continue therefore what best you can do out of it you do tastra says here why has he started with atma vidya the question was arjun is feeling he has got confused in his dharma but to us that state of an acclimatized mind what arjun called himself as dharma gyani he knows what is dharma even when you know what is to be done 
it still will not address the acclimatized state of dukkham dukk has become acclimatized therefore in degrees of seeking suk it's degrees of seeking but dukk is acclimatized it's an acceptable people say it is hota hai aise hi hai etc our justification is that we are filling up the day filling up the time with some reason with some activity with some pleasure why avoiding something etc 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 and we think now this is where the parallel between arjuna and us is and we think like arjuna thinks he is wise he knows but he is still confused we think we are doing the best that we can today how in a state of confusion this is the best one can do so what has krishna started actually talking about he is telling arjuna your condition of dukha actually is already there manifested in this condition yes because your nature that you are atma is unknown to you ये ना जानना कि आप आत्मा हो स्वरूप से आप आत्मा हो ये ना जानना ही बहुत कारण है यही कारण है बस बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रीजन दुख इज ऑलवेज ऑलवेज एज एफ अ शैडो विद यू आपकी परछाई के साथ चलता है जैसे आपकी परछाई चलती है वो साथ साथ ही रहता है and you get acclimatized to it how how we don't look at our shadows when as children you remember if you watched your own shadow uh, many of us must have played by, with our shadows well, it was such a joy to see your shadow children you know you look at them and they they this there's amazement there is wonderment at your own shadow when it lengthens and then you know you play with shadows to you to the one who doesn't understand atma as jiva as uh, your swarupa the jivatva bhav is that shadow aur iska lakshan kya hai ye ek in, ye na shadow ke jaise incomplete do whatever terms you want to call it that jivatva bhav is like a shadow along with this a chipakki hai existence मेरी इसी के साथ बनी है एंड देर फोर आई कैन नॉट श्रग इट अवे आई कैन डिस्ट्रैक्ट आई कैन मूव माई सेल्फ इन टू सेंस रन आई कैन एंगेज माई सेल्फ इन सम एक्टिविटी आई कैन कीप माई माइंड बिजी टू सम एक्सटेंट बट द मिनट इट इज आउट ऑफ द एक्शन द मिनट इट इज आउट ऑफ द प्लेजर इट कम्स बैक टू इट्स ओन आइडेंटिफिकेशन विद इट्स शेडो यू मै वॉच अ मूवी फॉर थ्री थ्री आवर्स यू गेट एन ग्रॉस्ट इन द मूवी यू एंजॉय द मूवी the minute you are out of the movie hall for a little while yes nice and then the test of vidya is when you can sit with yourself by yourself absolutely in shanti without any vikar rising to change the state of mind koi andar se vikar nahi hona chahiye मन का कोई विकार नहीं उठना चाहिए दैट रेस्टलेसनेस टू डू नॉट हैपन दैट मीन्स आत्मस्थिति यू आर आइडेंटिफाइंग क्लोजर यू आर नॉट आइडेंटिफाइंग विद द जीवत्व शैडो यू आर क्लोजर ज्ञान से ही हो सकता है ना दैट आई कैन बी क्वाइट एंड सिट रिलैक्स्ड without engaging the organs of action without engaging the organs of perception without engaging my identification with the thoughts that are running through the mind they'll go into the past they'll go into the future they will have whatever they but the movie going on you may need not be affected by it that arjuna is kind of ex- exhibiting the wisdom that he exhibited there 
and krishna tells him this is not knowledge because your knowledge has not addressed and this is an underlining point to yourself if you are knowledgeable it will address this lurking sthiti of sadness dukham that follows you as a shadow temporarily goes when you get engaged in something that you you think you should be doing and then comes back again as if it's your nature hatta hi nahi hai so many of us in the world today when we wake up we don't wake up fresh we don't wake up saying ah oh, one has given me another day to to undo what i may have done to do something good to have some correct corrections in my own mental bhavna to 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 do some vichar to engage in something which is primary which is the which is the basis for having human birth a day can be lived with those ideas 99.9 recurring morning itself is a burden because there is an overwhelmingness of that carry forward of the acclimatized state of one's own mind here by these verses on one hand he is giving us paramarthik drishti what is the direct implication to us kisi bhi aur avastha ko apna gyan mat samajhna very important point you will not get this in textbooks किसी भी और स्थिति अपने आप को ज्ञानी समझना मत अनलेस रंटिल ज्ञान का लक्षण है कि वो शोक का मोह का नाश करता है अगर आपका शोक और मोह नाश हो रहा है दैट मीन्स आत्मज्ञान है अगर आपका शोक और मोह नाश नहीं हो रहा एंड यू थिंक यू नो If we have to write, yes. If I give you another another assignment, and I say, okay, summary of sixteen to twenty-one words, fantastic. We will all be on Atma Gyan. And now I also know. I have been educated that a lot of answers get googled. Someone has sneaked into me that uh, we Google our answers. So if you're googling your answers, oh, a lot of my moha has gone. <laughs> because you are googling your answers that's okay perfectly fine as long as you are reflecting on them the purpose is going over it the purpose is whether you google it, googling it or you are listening to the class, do do at least your mind is on the topic for some time now whenever we understand atma is what is from 16th verse onwards there are a certain lakshanas given of your swarupam अपने स्वभाव का अपने स्वरूप का क्या है वो लक्षण इज गोइंग टू बी स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम से सिक्सटीन वर्स वॉट इट वर्स सिक्सटीन से इस इज आत्मा सत्य है और जो सत्य है उस सत्य मीन्स एग्जिस्टेंस एवर प्योर होना और जो सत्य है वो कभी भी ना हो ऐसा हो नहीं सकता जो कभी ना हो ऐसा हो नहीं सकता उसी को सत्य कहते हैं वट इज सत्य इट इज इंपॉसिबल फॉर इट नॉट टू बी इट विल ऑलवेज बी वॉट वॉज दैट सत्य 17th verse he said is avinashi avinashi tu tat vidhi what is avinashi he said in the bhashyam na vinashtum shilam jiska nashi nahi ho sakta wo avinashi hai kyun uska nash nahi ho sakta kyunki wo avyaya hai अव्यय मीन्स 
the one which cannot undergo a change why can't it go and undergo a change because it is partless it doesn't have it is not an aggregate there is nothing it alone is it's not divided it's indivisible what is ek rasam cannot have vyabhichar it cannot undergo modification it cannot undergo a change it is avyaya navyeti bhashyam said in which manner navyeti upachaya apachaya it cannot grow it cannot diminish by itself it cannot and no one else can because there is nothing else and by its own self also it cannot diminish itself na atmanam vinashaitum shaknoti by itself it will not expand by itself it cannot reduce and no one else nothing else can affect it therefore it is nitya it is nitya is what is sat it is nitya that nitya vastu jiska gyan agar aapko hai aur gyan kya hai if i ask you what is your name whose ever name starts with d can you please speak your name me divya what is this now is it intellectual knowledge or is it self recognition that's your knowledge it is recognition of my name it is not a thought alone there is no distinction between you and me i am sorry between your thought of yourself and the name of yourself main aur mere naam mein koi antar mujhe dikhta nahi hai jee bhav mein that both that identification so much ki it looks me this nitya vastu uska gyan mujhe jab hai means it is exactly as today it is my name my religion my gender etc the condition the me the jeeva me it never leaves me when i have the knowledge of nitya me being nitya me being avinashi me me as in not me the name and form mera swaroop ye hai that gyan has the direct effect of addressing the shok and moh other than that your shok and moh whatever be the solutions you come up with the wisest counselor you can go to successful counselor in the world will help you objectively deal with the problem deal with the issue deal with the sukha deal with and find a solution ho oh, gaya yeah. and then what has the sukha i'm sorry has the dukha got eradicated even when our solution supposing is there and a situation changes that dukha that i experience still lingers on into today am i correct even if my situation today is gone out of that state and i am happy per, supposedly supposed to be all fine in my life but that dukha may carry forward in my memory today so what is the solution for for this lurking shadow in the name of dukham what is the real solution only vedanta has it nothing else in the world no other knowledge no other nothing means nothing even vedas themselves say even karma is not a solution for it karma se bhi aap wo wala sukh nahi aapka swarup nahi jaan sakte as nitya 
कर्म करके भी नहीं जान सकते कौन से कर्म नॉट माई सोशल सर्विस कर्म अलोन देवर गिर मी सम पुण्य होके इवन माई स्पेसिफिक कर्मास फॉर इंद्र लोक स्वर्ग लोक ब्रह्म लोक इवन इफ आई डू स्पेसिफिक कर्मास दैट ऑल्सो विल नॉट एड्रेस ये जो पीछे शेडो के जैसे चल रहा है मेरे साथ मेरे मन का एक स्थिति है मेरे मन का एक भाव है दैट रिमेन्स ऑलवेज कॉन्स्टेंट एज ए एज ए वो नित्य है to us what is nitya if you are not if you are aware of it and not acclimatized to it that state of incomplete feeling that state of wanting something seems to be nityam there the only time it i get some respite is when i sleep because i'm not aware of it i'm not aware of myself so i'm not aware of it but it seems to be only time that i get some relief because however beautiful good perfect the life be you imagine it today we all chase somebody else's idea of a perfect life all human beings are doing that they project somebody else's life as perfect and then they want to idealize that life and then they want to start pursuing that life that life also how is it addressed only vedanta will say truly says and motivates a sincere student a seeker who wants a solution ye kya hamesha chalta rehta hai sab kuch theek hone ke baad bhi chalta rehta hai kabhi man mein aisa kabhi kabhi bhi you know who becomes a jignasu this first doubt is is this really permanent state of my being how am i not today a privileged person I am privileged, but does my happiness account to those privileges that I experience in life, even relatively, vivaharikali? We are already above sixty, seventy percent of the people in terms of our uh, existential life, surviving life. Is our happiness proportionate to that state of contentment, state of peace, state of shanti, man ki shanti? Is it? proportionate to that or is that bhav still lurking piche shadow ke jaise chal rahi hai chahiye 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 etc so nitya atma uska bodh hona usko janna usko pehchanna aur wo once it is recognized it doesn't leave it will not be forgotten it is not a memory based knowledge memory based knowledge is no knowledge why because upachaya apachaya ho sakta hai uska what is upachaya i am gaining the knowledge vritti gyanam what is apachaya god forbid if my happen something happens to my brain as an upadhi it is not reflecting my memory alzheimer's i don't remember possible i may forget i don't identify the knowledge that i have learnt i won't remember even my own people those i call myself that knowledge has to be made a distinction you one has to make a distinction between ये जो वृत्ति के ज्ञान है सारे आर दे केपेबल ऑफ रिमूविंग दिस लर्किंग शेडो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी स्टार्टेड टूडे बाय से आइडेंटिफाइंग एक्लमटाइज स्टेट ऑफ माई दुखम प्रोजेक्टिंग इट एज सुखम इज अनादर कंडीशन व्यवहारिकली इट्स बेस्ट लेट्स नॉट ट्रांसफर आर दुखम टू समन एल्स इट्स ओके बट बाय माई सेल्फ दैट एक्लोमेटाइजेशन वेन आई रजिस्टर द स्टेट ऑफ एक्लोमेटाइजेशन इट कैन अनसेटल मी इवन मोर बिकॉज इफ आई एम एक्लोमेटाइज आई डोंट रजिस्टर समबडी इज दिस इज 
some homes have very distinct smell and uh, those who live there they don't register it but if you come from outside somebody else comes suddenly you get that smell but those who are living are acclimatized they don't find it unusual forget that my best example is you know the clock most of us have room clo- room clocks and it goes tick 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 every second it makes a noise every second there is a tick 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 initially sometime when if i have a new clock you register after some time do you register the tick 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 abhi bhi hota hai lekin ab that's called acclimatization hamare dukh ke that there is no right word that's why we use at least 10 15 words together that maybe one of them will communicate to someone or the other that state of unfulfillment incompleteness vacuum hollowness shallowness um wantingness um restlessness you know incompleteness keep multiplying whichever term the bottom line is there is that and that desire to know what will address that makes one truly a vedantic student everybody else who is coming to vedanta who understands vedanta who studies vedanta who follows vedanta who applies vedanta say in life also we are trying to deal it at the level of the problem at the level of the vritti we have not understood or we still need to understand we still need some more effort to understand that the core problem that vedanta is talking about is ye jo aap shok mo jisko ek shabd mein vedanta samsar keh raha hai usme sab ye bhav aa jate hain throughout life that you have experienced usme even the happiness that you have experienced so called when things were going fine if they are going fine now i am a happy but that happiness of if i wanted to go to mount everest and i put in 10 years of my effort and i finally land up on everest i chanda gada maine apna oh of course i'm going to be very happy is that happiness your swarup sukham will it last is it nityam people say these verses are to um, unrelated how related they are will depend upon how ref- how reflective you are because geeta mein how do we presume that bhagwan is going to give us any verse which is going to be unrelated to the condition kya wo agyani hai is krishna agyani is vyasa agyani if they are like one of us then why are we giving it any study at all then it's friends conversing every verse every word is a pramana unless until i have a pramana buddhi in these i will not figure out the immediateness of this knowledge to me वो परोक्षी रहेगा परोक्ष मीन्स दैट डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस फेल्ट बिटवीन द नॉलेज एंड मी इट इज नॉट अ परोक्ष लाइक माई नेम एंड मी इज अ परोक्ष ज्ञान नींद में भी अगर मुझे कोई पूछता है वॉट इज माई शेख मी एंड जदीप्ति गेटा आई डोंट थिंक दे आर कॉलिंग समवन एल्स even if there are two deepti somewhere and if someone says deepti both of us will turn how immediate is this knowledge it's worth reflection reflecting how in how close is that knowledge usko kehte hain aparoksh buddhi ye vritti aparoksh hai itni jud chuki hai mere se ki mujhe isme distance nahi lagta it doesn't look as if it is objective knowledge atma nitya that buddhi 
when it is aparoksh means here i am recognizing when i am by myself i know that none of the things in the world no solution in even this sentence can take us months and years sometimes to figure it out duniya mein koi solution hi nahi hai other than atma vidya which will directly deal with this lurking incompleteness kuch aur karna hai kuch aur banna hai kuch aur ho jaye what is that add kuch aur ho jaye ab jo sam add no kuch aur ho jaye चलो कुछ और हो जाए आ दैट इज जीव अभाव कंप्लीटली चलो कुछ और हो जाए कृष्णा थ्रू आउट द सेकेंड चैप्टर बींग द समरी ऑफ द एंटायर सेवनटीन चैप्टर्स ऑफ द गीता द एटींथ अगेन विल बी द समरी जस्ट इनके समन फील्स के आई मिस्ट आउट द एटींथ विल ऑल्सो बी अ समरी थ्रू आउट द सेकेंड चैप्टर वॉट इज ही गोइंग टू से If you have got real knowledge, अपनी ही बुद्धि का तुम असेसमेंट करो अपनी समझ का तुम असेसमेंट करो क्या ये ज्ञान तुम्हारा तुम्हारे इस भाव को एड्रेस कर रहा है इनकम्प्लीट भाव को इज इट शेकिंग इट इज इट रिमूविंग इट इज इट हिलाउविंग इट और हिलाउविंग इट मीन इज इट इवन टचिंग इट इज दैट होल ज्ञान इवन टचिंग द स्टेट ऑफ योर mind that you feel within if it is then this knowledge alone will be the knowledge that will touch it because we know no other knowledge touches it it doesn't go therefore 16th verse he made a huge statement he is going to conclude very soon to say i'm drawing the parallel because i believe some of you were not connecting it correctly very soon he is going to say arjun arjun said meri buddhi mujhe kehti hai ki guruon ko maarte nahi hai no there will be uh, what are the intermixture and all those verses that he gave in first chapter he felt he is doing a wrong thing उसकी समझ उसको यही कह रही है भगवान कह रहे जिसकी सच में समझ सच्ची है उस समझ में शोक ही नहीं है इट इज अ डायरेक्ट अटैकर ऑफ शोक शोक डिजोल्वर है वो इट डिजोल्व इट अवे देर इज नो शोक लेफ्ट टू शोक अबाउट It is an avastha of a shok kaha, jahan koi shok hi nahi hai. This needs to be understood first, of course, through hearing, through reflecting, but it needs to be appreciated as one's nature. Whatever it takes to become free of the bondage felt of this samsara that from 16th he said atma ye hai 17th he said atma ye hai 18th he gave us the the very um, um, reason to say that all what is truly anitya so nitya kya hai atma hai anitya kya hai deh hai deh van दे ही मरेगा नहीं मर ही नहीं सकता क्योंकि वो दे ही आत्मा है मगर दे कभी नित्य हो ही नहीं सकता दे तो मरेगा ही इट हैज टू गो थ्रू इट्स विकार इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ क्रिएशन इट इज इट इज क्रिएशन इट सेल्फ वो पार्ट इट इज क्रिएशन दे फॉर दिस कैन नॉट बी नित्यम एवर इट विल गो थ्रू इट्स ओन इट इज अ विकारी भाव ऑफ एग्जिस्टेंस ऑल दिस having said he said in the 19th verse this avikari atma because it is avikari now is beginning to address arjuna's state of in ignorance hum kya kar rahe hain jab hum acclimatized hai dukh ko hum pure din mein kya kar rahe hain chalo ab ye karte hain chalo ab wo karte hain chalo ab yahan jaate hain chalo movie dekhte hain chalo isse milte hain you know that karte hain enjoy karte hain 
या भोगते हैं एक्सपीरियंस करते हैं द होल डे टू एड्रेस दैट लर्किंग शेडो वी आर डूइंग दिस थ्रू आउट द डे दैट इज विकारी अवस्था करता भोगता अगर मैंने अपने आप को आत्मा समझा बट आई एम ऑल्सो विकारी आत्मा वॉट इज दैट विकारी आत्मा कर्म के साथ जुड़ के आई एम अकर्ता दैट मीन्स नाउ आई टेकन अ विकार कर्तापन इज माई विकार बाय माई सेल्फ हु एम आई आई एम आत्मा बट विद रेफरेंस टू एक्शन हु एम आई आई एम करता and with reference to the experience of the action that comes the phal that comes who am i i'm the experiencer of that action bhokta by myself i am a person with reference to my children i am a parent with reference to my uh, parent i am a child with reference to action i am a karta with reference to the fruit i am a bhokta by myself who am i Am I karta or bhokta? By myself, the one who knows, Atma is a vikari. Therefore, Atma is a karta. It is a bhokta. That Atma which is a vikari, a bhokta. In this verse, he says. उभव तव न विजानी तहा दो थिंक दट आत्मा किल्स और विल गेट किल्ड आई एम किलिंग हाउ मेनी ऑफ अस लाइक लास्ट क्लास वी सेट दिस अ लॉट ऑफ गिल्ड वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम दिस अ लॉट ऑफ रिग्रेट वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम वी फील वी शुड हैव डन दैट वी कुड हैव डन दैट वी शुड नॉट हैव डन दैट वी कुड नॉट हैव डू कुड नॉट डू वॉट वी वॉन्टेड टू डू आधे से ज्यादा जिंदगी हमारी इन दो तीन चीजों के बीच में बीतती है वट इज इट आई कुड हैव आई शुड हैव एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा दिस थिंकिंग दैट आई माई आई एम बींग द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ एन एक्शन करता हूं एंड दैट आई एम गोइंग टू बिकम द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ समन एल्स इज एक्शन कि अगर आप मुझे कुछ बोलोगे supposing you give me two three unacceptable words you know give me look down upon it look down upon me as bad as you can and what will happen to me insult me what will happen to me i squall from insult instant kya hoga mera if you insult me instantly what will happen you will react what will happen within how you will get uncomfortable there is my notion that i am affected by your offended by your words i feel hurt i feel insulted i feel affected i feel disturbed i get agitated and then i may react again back i may call you two names also agar main to tum thodi kya ho to you are not an angel you will call me something then you have deserved my calling you back something that means i am a karta and i am a bhokta if i am getting affected by your words i am taking myself to be an object of your action आपके कर्म का मैं आई एम द एंड ऑफ योर एक्शन आप कर्म कर रहे हो और उसका एंड कहां पे डायरेक्टेड है मुझ पे डायरेक्टेड है तो ये जो मुझ पे डायरेक्टेड है दैट इज कॉल्ड भोक्ता बिकमिंग अ कर्मा ऑफ समवन एल्स इज एक्शन कृष्णा सेड इन द नाइनटीन वर्स उभाव तव न विजानी तहा ये वो वाला ज्ञान नहीं है जिससे आपका ये शोक मोह कभी जाएगा जाएगा ही नहीं कभी भी नहीं जाएगा तो सो यू आर यू आर इट्स लाइक यू नो चेजिंग द शेडो विद अ स्टिक थिंकिंग दैट इट विल गो मार रहे हैं हम शेडो को 
कोशिश कर रहे हैं ना सारी जिंदगी कोशिश करते रहेंगे हम क्योंकि शेडो हमें अच्छा नहीं लगता सो वी हैव टू गेट रेड ऑफ द शेडो सो हाउ डू वी गेट रेड ऑफ द शेडो कुछ लोग मारेंगे कुछ उसकी पूजा करेंगे कुछ जाएंगे रीडर्स के पास रीडर्स एज एन ऑल काइंड ऑफ रीडर्स दैट वी हैव टू टेक कुछ कुछ तो करना पड़ेगा ना शेडो तो हमें अच्छी नहीं लगती तो शेडो में हूं नहीं ना हाउ विल आई लाइक इट एंड इट डीव मी It was a very nice one I saw just recently. Probably that's what the example is fresh on my mind. Correct. Forget it's abnormal. A small young child must have uh, in a mall was going and saw a huge mirror in front. Really a toddler goes looks like that, and then goes like this, then comes back still there. Fascinating. Look at the cognition. The jeev is still not capable of identifying ये मैं हूँ. But once you start seeing कि वो image in the mirror is me, does it still still surprise us? We we we'll look forward to looking at ourselves in the mirror. but for a child that mirror the image in the mirror is not identified as himself or herself dikhti nahi hai waise hi humko hamara ye dukh ki avastha meri to hai nahi hai it's there i don't like it i need to move it i need to address it so i will do everything possible try and hurt it try and remove it ट्रायल कर्म करके भगवान से मन्नतें मांग के भगवान को ब्राइब करके और क्या कर सकते हैं हम फिर हम ऑल काइंड ऑफ साधु वट एवर आवर एफर्ट्स टैरो रीडर्स पाम रीडर्स नाडी रीडर्स दे मे ऑल वर्क आई नॉट से नो आइडिया इज वॉट आई मे वॉट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ एजुकेशन वेदांता से इट्स नॉट लुकिंग डाउन अपॉन एनी ऑफ दीज थिंग्स दे कैन ऑल हैव देर ओन प्लेस इन क्रिएशन द आइडिया इज अ स्टूडेंट बिकम्स अ जिज्ञासु ओनली वेन ही स्टार्ट टू सी ए सबके अंदर सोल्यूशन नहीं है टू एड्रेस दैट नन ऑफ द विल रिमूव द शेडो so when i am able to get affected by somebody's words that means i have identified with which knowledge main apne aap ko kya samajh rahi hu according to the verse verse 19 we have finished what am i thinking i am you thinking your wise but you are you are thinking you are wise but you are not but what am i mistaking myself as in the specific context yes there is a turmoil inside in this specific context what am i karta bhokta rather yara bhokta karam ka pan kisi aur ke karam ka aap experiencer ban rahe ho This point should be clear. So, a karta, a bhokta. Atma na karti hai na, but that's why that example famous going on for generations now, probably passed down in every class of Vedanta. Maybe uh, they have said maybe it is a Buddhist example. I do not know. Probably just some wise, truly wise person, gyani, ja raha tha apne sadhuon ke saath, and then one of them apne shishyo ke saath, and then somebody in the village. spat at him and the story is was it buddha or was it any gyani doesn't matter the story is he just wiped his face and continued walking and all the shishyas got very offended they got very angry at the one who spat at this gyani and they wanted to take uh, revenge they wanted to hurt the one who said how can he do this to our guruji how can he do this to this enlightened person he has done a great ghor papam he has done and um, 
they were waiting that uh, this gyani will react back will say something back will respond back mm-hmm. he just continued walking wiped it and continued walking and after some time one of them who thought was a most sincere devotee of this gyani and most uh, uh, dedicated to him so he said i can't stand this insult that this per- i have to but i need permission because he was dedicated so he seeks permission from the gyani and uh, he says i want to go and uh, uh, educate him i want to also i want to tell him he's done something wrong how can he do this to you and the gyani turned and says uh, what did he do is aapko aapne pocha na aapke upar unhone he spit at you aapne usko pocha bhi He says, he didn't spit at me. He spat at you because you are the one who is affected. Did I convey the story properly for you to get the message? What did the Gyani say? He didn't spit at me. Why? I have not made karam. I have not made his karam. He did it. Yes. He spat at me. He spat at me. but i didn't take it take his action to be centered on me i didn't become the i didn't own up i did not become the karma of his action maine liya hi nahi maine apne upar karma karmatvam dala hi nahi uske karm ka ki usne mujh pe spit kiya wo maine kiya hi nahi kyu how is it even possible तुमने उसके साथ आइडेंटिफाई किया यू टुक दैट एक्शन सेंटर्ड ऑन योर ममत्व मेरे गुरु को तुमने उसको अपने से जोड़ लिया तो नाउ यू आर डिस्टर्ब तो यू आर फ्री टू डू वॉट यू वॉन्ट गुरु से यू डील इट यू आर एजुटेटेड यू डील इट द वे यू वॉन्ट टू डील विद इट have i conveyed this story conveyed properly yes who yes. is bhokta bhokta ka matlab ye nahi ki khao 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 piyo enjoy karo senses and pleasures and you know oh i am such an indulgent indulgence is not the point sensory indulgence is not the point sensory indulgence is the lowest level of the point simplest point that you can talk convey to absolutely maybe a new person but bhokta is what all the time in vyavahar we are attacked by someone or the other your best intentions are also not understood nobody will understand krishna my best recourse is in krishna if while he is there also not everybody understood him as krishna there was duryodhan there was shakuni who found enough flaws चलाक है बहुत कृष्णा दे सेड इवन नाउ पीपल से इज रियली इज वेरी मैन्युपुलेटिव कृष्णा इज वेरी मैन्युपुलेटिव फॉर गौरवास एंड अ लॉट मोर फॉर पांडवास विदाउट कृष्णा दे कांट थिंक ऑफ कंडक्टिंग देयर लाइफ एब्सोल्यूट ऑपोजिट so when you take someone's action and you own up that karmatvam it's a very subtle point needs to be grasped because we suffer more from that than we suffer from karta par karta se hum itna suffer nahi karte because results come our way or not it becomes easy to neutralize especially after some learning of the gita and If you have some satsang somewhere, it's फिर भी आसान है थोड़ा बहुत करता को कम करना But bhukta is a greater catch, greater bondage. Half the people, half more than half, half, I would very comfortably say, seventy, eighty, ninety percent of discord in life that people have in relationships is because we become the bhukta means we take upon ourselves 
the object of another person's action we own it up like that's sure did he owned it up ha you can debate is it not his dharma now you've come to the point of dharma do you see the distinction between the two dharm ka vishay hai to karm hoga agar wo karm ke level pe hai to dharm aana hai dharm se hi karm hona chahiye magar atma ke vishay pe agar hai if one is identified at the level of atma इधर कर्म नहीं है आत्मा में विकार ही नहीं है भाष्य कारा पुट्स इन ब्यूटिफुल एफर्ट टू कन्वे दैट देर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन ज्ञान एंड ज्ञानी आत्मज्ञान और आत्मज्ञानी में कोई अंतर ही नहीं है उसका लक्षण क्या है अकर्ता अभोक्ता not only that then in the next verse he says 21st verse in between 20th verse we'll come back to it in the 21st verse he said know this to be avinashi nityam ajam avyayam these is taken in the 20th verse katham sa purusha partha How opath such a person who knows atma to be this avinashi avyaya nitya avikari akarta abhukta wo kaise kisi ko maar sakta hai can you own up the action of a doership of an act wo kaise kisi ko maar sakta hai ya marwa sakta hai so there are three things marwa sakta hai means khud to nahi marta he is not killing but he is telling someone else to kill he is giving prerna to someone else ghatayati word in the 21st verse is a is a special prayoga called a nich prayoga nijanta prayoga which means it is used in the sense of a prerna when you give prerna to someone else to act you become a um you are a karta whose name is a prayojaka karta means you are not doing yourself but you have inspired or you have motivated or you have asked someone else or you have instigated someone else to do the action and the one who is directly doing the action becomes a prayojya karta that is a nijanta yog ghata yati atma na karti hai na bhogta hai na karwati hai there's a lot of philosophy in the world which says in the presence of atma uh in the presence of brahman action gets done brahman is not getting any action done bhagwan ki marzi se that, that, that is a different level of reasoning and approach for an attitude shift which is correct in its place but here the topic is has to be grasped separate from all of that atma a कारयित्रत्व आत्मा करवाती भी नहीं है बिकॉज इट इज अविकारी इन प्रीवियस वर्स वेन ही सेट आत्मा इज अप्रमेय अप्रमेय मीन्स प्रत्यक्ष आदि प्रमाण से यू के नॉट नो इट तो इट्स अ फैंटेस्टिक एक्सप्लेनेशन इफ आत्मा any knowledge that you have about yourself any knowledge about yourself give me any description of yourself will it be falling in pratyaksh adi praman pratyaksh adi praman i hope everybody knows eyes and ears and sense organ no, this is it will not fall any description will not fall in pratyaksh uh, will will uh, will be pratyaksh praman which will not describe atma ah, which will only correct. describe the uh, external correct which will describe your what pr- pratyaksh can describe your eyes can describe what your eyes can describe your size your height your gender your color naam roop roop 
your entire form color pratyaksh can describe that about you is that atma is that will that knowledge remove your shok <laughs> to us that is a karan of shok i have put on a little weight my hair is going gray i am except yeah hum the knowledge that i have got from pratyaksh has added shok on me can that be the true knowledge what else can your pratyaksh give you gyan of your ears can only give you gyan of your of of sounds if you are hungry your stomach makes a rumbling sound hota na you've heard it somebody else also hears it are you hungry uh-huh. there's a sound if you put your stethoscope on your heart there is a sound even if you close this ear there's a sound is this is this atma इंद्रिया जिस विषय का ज्ञान देगी वो तो आत्मा है ही नहीं क्योंकि आत्मा अप्रमेय है इनडिस्क्राइबेबल यू कैन नॉट पुट आत्मा इन एन ऑब्जेक्टिव कैटेगरी इंद्रिया उनका इंद्रियों का विषय है ही नहीं आत्मा अप्रमेय है अप्रमेय है देन हाउ डू आई नो इट That means I cannot know it at all. मैं इंद्रियों से ही तो ज्ञान लेती हूं लेता हूं अगर आत्मा इंद्रियों का विषय नहीं है तो आत्मा तो जानने वाली वस्तु ही नहीं है हाउ कैन वन नो आत्मा दर डोंट वरी आत्मा अप्रमेय तो है बट जान भी सकते हो क्योंकि आत्मा स्वतः सिद्ध है it is revealer of its own self it is self effulgent surya ko janne ke liye aapko kitne surya ki zarurat hai sun to know sun how many suns do you need sun is self effulgent spreading light that which is self effulgent itself the cause of light to know it <coughs> of course brother aranyaka will bring it to swam prakashah which is a different context limited example here to know sun do you know need another sun in the light of another sun is this sun getting known does it happen like that fire is self revealer that swayam siddha fire as in heat and light in the sun swayam siddha atma that swayam siddha atma is also because it is avinashi avyaya nitya avikari akarta abhokta akaraitratva aprameya swayam siddha <coughs> advitiya it is aprameya it is advitiya and sarvavyapi it is ever there not limited by any time space or condition being sarvavyapi means it is expansive it is there is nothing where atma is not aisi kuch hai nahi jahan atma nahi hai बिकॉज द मिनट यू से आत्मा वहां नहीं है इट हैज बिकम ड्यूअल यू हैव लिमिटेड आत्मा इन स्पेस और टाइम और कंडीशन बट आत्मा तो सर्वव्यापी है ऑल दिस इसका वट वुड बी द राइट वर्ड इसका रेजोल्यूशन रेजोल्यूशन एज इन इस विचार को कन्वर्जेंस कहां पे आके आएगा हाउ इज दिस वेर इज अ कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ दिस आत्मा ये सब है वर्स तत्व 
pure existence which I am experiencing as my existence minus the idea of name and form and time and religion minus all this that I am and that Atma is the one who knows he is Sarvavyapi in terms of there is no locus now as identified with the body. We are what? Hum apne aap ko kya samajhte hai? What is our limitation of Vyapta? What is our idea of how much am I? What is my worth? What is my value? What is my spread? What is my reach? Even if you are very popular, even if you have a great following, what is your reach? Are you Sarva Vyapi? No. Maximum. Some people will always be there who will not accept you. You will have opposition always. So there will be some people who will celebrate your birthday, then there will be some opposition who will try to bring it down. You are not Sarva Vyapi. That Atma Brahman is 16th verse. So he said, uh, see the whole cycle is complete. What is now connected to the beginning of the class? Krishna to Arjun ko ye keh rahe hai, jo jnani hota hai na, usko shok nahi hai. हो ही नहीं सकता क्योंकि ज्ञान है जो शोक को डिसॉल्व करता है इफ यू राइट विद अ पेन ऑन अ पेपर इफ आई राइट ऑन द बोर्ड हेयर समथिंग आई राइट उसको अब अनराइट क्या करेगा समथिंग दैट कैन काउंटर इट so the eraser counters it. So the eraser will erase it. Chok aya kaha se? Who will get the bullseye? Chok aya kaha se? The feeling of incompleteness. Usi ko chok kehte hai na? What else? Again say. Again say. Exactly. So, wo kaha se aya? Incompleteness, is it your swaroop? That you have to examine. And when you start examining, kya ye incompleteness mera swaroop hai? Because ye rehti to humesha mere saath hi hai. But kya ye nitya hai? Nahi, neend mein to gaya ho jati hai. All my life I may have incompleteness, but when I go to sleep, in between it disappears. That's not my swaroop. I forget, forget mean, I forget for some time when I have a good company, I'm in the presence of a good company or something. I forget that I'm unhappy, I'm happy. So we think actually happiness is, is, is thought. Ayate jayate ka concept. Anji? Ayate, it comes and it goes. That's what we think happiness Correct. is. Exactly, it is the opposite. Correct. Correct. So he said here in the verse he says Ya enam veti hantaram Yaha cha enam manyate hatam Ubhav tauna vijani taha Na ayam hanti na hanyate This is once again like a pratikya statement. What did he say in the previous verses from 16th onwards? What was the nature of Atma or Sat by calling it Amritam, Avinashi, Avyabhichari? 17th defines Avinashi and what takes Vinash 
18th. What can be destroyed? Therefore you get this Atma and Anatma Viveka. Then 19th, once again he making a huge proclamation of, of uh, fact. What is it? Ya enam veti hantam. Those who think that this is getting killed or this kills, this Atma kills. I kill, I am getting killed. Ubhautauna vijanitaha. They both do not know. Na ayam hanti na hanyate. This doesn't kill. This cannot be killed. Then he gave the hetu, the reason why Atma is uh, avinashi and cannot be killed. Abhikari. Na jayate mriyate va kadachat. I think we'll stop at this. Na jayate mriyate va kadachat. This does not have janma, janma rahit hai. Na jayate. Not born. And what did Bhashyakara give? Na utpadyate. It is not risen. Na utpadyate. Na jayate. Na utpadyate. Jani lakshana means of coming to birth, which we saw before. Prak, Abhava, when it is destroyed, is there a birth? It has to be Vastu Vikriya. That is not Atma. Na Jani Lakshanaha. Tatha Na Mriyate. It doesn't also have Antya. Vinasha Lakshana Vikriya. So there is no birth, no Janma, It is also not got Vinasha Lakshana. This Sarva Vikriya Pratishitthaihi. It is free. It negates all vik Vikar. Tad Bhava Vikar. It negates all of them. Therefore, Na Kadachit Jayate, Na Kadachit Miyate Iti Evam. So understand this Atma is neither born, does not get killed, is not dying. This ka Vinash Nahi hai. Vinash Nahi hai. Vinash. He gave us the definition before. A darshanam. So, aapke pratyaksh se darshan nahi ho raha hai, that is a darshanam. Siraf sharir a darshan ho sakta hai. Atma a darshan nahi hai. Or a darshan means vidyamanaha. Uh, na vidyamanaha is a darshan. Vidyamanaha is darshan. Hona. Then he said, Na ayam bhutva bhaveta vana bhuyaha. Having been, it will not cease to be, nor will it not be in the future. Means it will get extinct sometimes. No. It is ajaha, unborn. It is nityaha. And he gives all these meanings over here. Jayate, tasmatma jayate. Because it is Deha gets born, Deha dies. Yasmat namriyate tasmat. Because it is na jayate namriyate tasmat nityaha. It is ajaha nityaha. Ashvataha. It is always there. In between the two vikaras also have to be uh, in between birth and death, the other vikaras, madhyama bhavana bhavina ninam vikaraihi, those also are taken care of. Therefore, tashvat bhavaha, always there. Shashvataha iti, apakshaya lakshana vikriya pratishadhyate. It never has a decline. Apakshaya nahi hai. So the Shad Bhav Vikar Nahi hai. Na Apakshiyate Swarupena. Why doesn't it have a decline? Niravayatva. Because it is Niravayatva. It doesn't have parts. Nirgunatva also it is. Therefore Gunakshayena also it is Apakshaya. Means it will not be that the Gunas will. It has Gunas and it is going to have change of Gunas. Like we say. If you are predominantly tamasic, you can move to rajas. 
and if you are tamas rajasik you can move to sattva means establish in sattva krishna also says to arjuna be established in sattva guna has rise and fall but atma is nirgunatva therefore in no manner is shaya possible is what he is trying to say it's shashvat and also it is nirguna apakshaya viparita prithi lakshana vikriya pratishiddhite purana iti therefore apakshaya viparita uh, that which doesn't have a decline therefore it is ever new prithi lakshana vikriya pratishiddhite it will age it will old that's why we say it sanatana dharma means it ever remains the same purana means it will never be that it will disappear it will have decline no therefore ajaha nitya tashvatah pura na hanyate hanyamane sharire this is not being killed nor can it cause anyone to kill when in this body sharira is the one that gets killed slain but not atma which is ajah amarah avikriya all of this and there is a beautiful and then in the 21st verse now as i said over here he's going to do upasamharati he's conclude pratigya etu he has given the reason he has given for his statement of fact that atma is neither killed nor can it be killed neither kills nor can it be killed why because it is na jayate mriyate it has given the reason and 21st verse he will conclude this particular set of reason and pratigya vakyam that he has made he is going to kill it uh, he is going to uh, conclude it this will take tomorrow 21st verse we will start tomorrow Is that okay we can end here o sarvesham swastir bhavatu sarvesham shantir bhavatu sarvesham purnam bhavatu sarvesham mangalam bhavatu sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadraani pashyantu maa kaschit dukha bhag bhavet